So I'm one of those people who talks a lot. No, actually I have two sides. There is this side that talks a lot, doesn't think, talks a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, without stopping. And there is another side of me that is very wise, very reflective, listens to others and uh, just listens, doesn't talk, just reflects about that, what they say and try to understand. like very young almost in my teenage years or when I was in in, in high school uh, I would say almost anything any word that would come to my mind just to take the attention of who was around me just the only thing that was important for me was to be the funny girl or the cool girl and the girl who makes everybody laugh but I didn't really think about what was coming out of my mouth that was making people laugh. So, or think of me as the funny, interesting, always has something to say girl. This happens to me still sometimes, uh, and it happens mostly that I'm not really mindful of what I'm saying. Like my mind is somewhere else planning the lunch of tomorrow, and I'm here talking just to feel the conversation just to not feel like not I like I don't have anything to say so this happens still to me when I don't think and I talk so why am I saying this in the beginning of a topic which is about freedom of speech I first want to say that I feel that we are so so lucky that we live in an age that we have access to any information that we want and we are surrounded by yeah this massive amount of information that whatever we want to know we can search it and we can really get to the truth of it we don't have to spend hours in the library we have information uh yeah very accessible to us and a lot of that is for the freedom of speech is because of that that we have reached to this level of advancement, this growth and this amount of collective knowledge. It's because we were able to think and share our idea and talk freely uh, to each other about it. The reason also that today I'm able to sit here and to talk to you guys and say my opinion about freedom of speech is because of freedom of speech but there is always a but uh, if we don't use our words in a wise way i won't say in a right way because i think right is something very objective by the wise way without any thinking behind it uh, we might use this freedom of speech in a destructive way i think i mean in my opinion even though that we have freedom of speech there should be always a border uh, about anything that we do and this is also about freedom of speech let's say that i have a car and i'm in a city i have the freedom to go anywhere that i want anywhere that i desire to but in the same time there are rules there are rules of how i can drive the there are rules that i have to wait uh, be behind the red light and if i don't do that i'm going to disturb others i'm gonna be like in danger as a danger as a yeah as a part of danger to other people so the same thing is with the freedom of speech of course we have the freedom to say what we want but if we don't put any border for what we want to say we might end up hurting others we might end up putting in danger this collective wisdom this collective growth that we are trying to reach to and this is the reason that we see very often that with this freedom of speech instead of uh, accessing to all the truth that can be we have the problems of fake news the problems of propaganda because sometimes maybe virality and getting attention like i had the same problem when i was a teenager has become sometimes has become more important for us than saying something true so we care more about filling the voids to always having something to say instead of having something wise to say so i think the problem starts like any other thing is that 
when we think of ourselves as individuals living in our individualistic bubble so i say okay i'm a human being and uh, i'm my own individual self and i can say whatever i want without um, impacting the whole world and the the problem yes yeah, starts when we don't see this interconnectedness this yeah connection that exists between all of the humanity and whatever we do whatever we say can can affect the other people and that effect uh, increases and it can affect the humanity so i think this idea of interconnectedness can be the first step for all of us to to think about this whole idea and sometimes we got we underestimate this interconnectedness that exists in the world we just talk out of boardroom out of uh, just wanting to talk or uh, we talk sometimes out of so much emotion like we are so angry and we say whatever we want we are sad and we say whatever we want without thinking about the effect that it can have in the other person that we are talking to or to in the society in general so the consequence of this habit of wanting to talk just for the sake of talking becomes a society that um, like unkind words and fake news they become viral and we look at them and then we share them again without thinking and that becomes our main point of attention and I think this is a dangerous thing for a species like us, for humans that yeah, we, this is the main way of our growth and advancement is our communication and if we don't use it in a, in a wise way we, it, can, it can be really scary what can come out of it for all of us out there um, a way that I find very useful in, in the way of yeah, thinking without talking is a way called the think method so before we say things uh, we can think of five questions before we start talking about it and of course in the beginning it might be hard because we have to ask ourselves always uh, these five questions before saying anything but after a time I think uh, after a amount of time our mind will be trained to and it will be ready I mean it will filter it itself after a while of being mindful about uh, these uh, five points so the first uh, aspect the first point of the think method is about the word that we say uh, the things that we say and if about their truth so if what i'm saying is true or i just heard it uh, from someone who heard it from someone else or heard it from someone else so we really did we really investigate to understand if something is true or not did we put the time did we read about it and did we check uh, the facts or we are just saying it because we heard it from someone else because we saw it in the story of our friend or something like this uh, I myself I'm not very good at this I'm starting to become better at this and it's mostly because of our ego because we want to there sometimes we get some information and we don't even understand where we got them we hear it because we hear it from someone from our friends we read it somewhere and it stays in our mind and so when we are in a discussion when we are talking with our friends this thing comes out and then we want to uh, keep pushing on saying that no this is true because uh, and we don't think where it came from but it is in our subconscious right and uh, sometimes uh, what i do that i'm really not proud of it also is to search some keywords about what i say might be true and the first search result that i find i show to my friend and i say you see this is truth even though i know that the the citation might not be correct or whatever so most of the time we have this we don't pass this point of truth not because we are not good people, not because we want to create wrong information or uh, yeah, bring wrong information to the world, it's because we are lazy. We are basically lazy to uh, do the checks that we have to do. And one thing that we can do if we are lazy to check everything, at least we cannot share 
uh, the information that we are not sure about. So if you see something, if all of us see something on social media and it seems very exciting uh, and we want to share it with our friends and we don't want to do the fact check, at least let's not share it until we are in mood of checking if it's true or not. Uh, the other point of the think method is H, which is, is it helpful? So is what we're saying, um, will it help anybody? Um, is it useful um, for someone else? Can it bring a bit of positivity to the conversation? In general, what we're saying, is it helpful? Or sometimes it could be even the opposite. And the third point uh, is the I, and it's, is it inspiring? And maybe we can ask uh, ourselves this question that what I'm bringing to the table, can it inspire someone? Or the opposite, it might even make the other person that I'm talking to or make the other people who are around me feel even worse, more uninspired and feel even, I don't know, feel bad about themselves after I say what I say. Uh, so I think it's really important to think about this point. Sometimes it's not what we say, but it's also how we say it. So I think the way that we say a certain point also can help it to become either inspiring or uh, making people lose their energy and uh, yeah, become depressed or sad or whatever. So yeah, the third point is being inspiring. The fourth, is it necessary? Especially when we are young, you know, High school years, if we don't have the proper, let's say, uh, time to reflect, or if we are in the group of uh, friendships, that uh, this kind of thinking is not encouraged to think before talking, uh, we might say things that are not necessary. Sometimes yeah, we just talk only for the sake of talking, uh, and we say things that might end up becoming hurtful to some people that might end up becoming not wise only because we want to talk. So asking ourselves that if what we're saying is necessary or not can be also very useful. Uh, yeah, determiner to help us understand if we should say something or it's wiser to not say it. Fourth point, is it kind? So is what I'm saying uh, kind, is it, um, or it's unkind, is it out of hatred, is it out of uh, my, uh, me being sad or angry, uh, so yeah, what we say, if it's kind or not, and sometimes it might be kind to the people that we are uh, talking to, but it might be unkind to a person that is not uh, on that table, it might be unkind even to a celebrity that we even don't know, but we said so when we talk about this kindness uh, kindness uh, word it's really important to think about being kind to everybody like we don't have to say things that are even unkind about the people that we don't like i mean it's a process of course none of us is the best at it but uh, we can try all that being said i what i wanted to most say today was that um, it is true that we have freedom of speech but sometimes we also have the freedom not to speak so maybe let's remind ourselves that sometimes it might be wiser or kinder uh, not to say everything that uh, is coming to our mind so let's filter uh, our thoughts before making them the words because until they are here it's something but when we uh, bring them out and we say it then um, it's a whole another story and of course by this I don't mean that we shouldn't have different opinions we shouldn't talk about our different opinions but it's really important that when we are talking in our discussions in our everyday life uh, to have that curiosity curiosity to learn uh, and uh, yeah to be able to be open and to learn and not wanting to say things uh, only to feed our ego and only to say that what we think is the most important one. It was happening to me when I was in my bachelor and my master. Uh, I did architecture school and 
you have a lot of group work in the architectural school and it was happening to me very often that when other people were talking and they were saying their opinions all I could think about was what to say next which is cooler than other people's ideas or uh, yeah how could I say my idea in a way that convinces everybody to do my idea so I think I lost so many chances uh, during my study time to learn from others that had completely different way of seeing the world uh, because I was so focused on what I wanted to say. And this reminds me of something that my dad would always tell me when I was a kid because I was talking all the time. I don't know if this is a sentence that he made up because I was talking a lot or it was a poem from someone and it was saying that if you have given two ears and one tongue is because you have to listen to two words and not say anything and i think it happens to us very often that we want to say two three four five words and not listen to anything and i think yeah a conversation is made of different actors so it is really important that we remind ourselves of that and we want to listen, learn uh, from others uh, but in the same time of course say our opinion in a respectful and kind manner. In general I just wanted to remind all of us to think before saying anything because uh, our conversations as human beings is the main way of uh, us connecting to each other and uh, let's use that, um, that tool for our connection in the best way that we can. I hope uh, this video was useful for you and uh, I hope we can all rethink uh, talking and how we use our words. Uh, see you next week.